What can you do as a spiritual atheist? Meditate and dance with Sufis. Play with archetypes or tarot cards to support a conversation between your conscious and subconscious mind. Read things like Dante's Divine Comedy, not because it's literal truth, but because you can do soul work with it. Go to Buddhist Sanghas in order to learn more tools for how to combat suffering. Learn, study, and be inspired by some of the great mystics, including Jesus. To inner work with labyrinths. This is my very favorite labyrinth. It's in Maui. <laughs> Read and study your Bible. There's a lot you can learn from the Bible. It's a long form conversation. It's also something that you need to read in order to understand Western literature and Western civilization. And you can learn a lot about human nature. Go to sound baths and do body work. This is who I see locally in Boise. She's fantastic and create your own rituals. I often have skulls around me, especially skulls that I are planters that I can, this one broke, but I can put uh, flowers in because it helps remind me of the circle of life and death that I'm a part of. And thinking about death actually helps me to focus on the present moment and the preciousness of the present moment and how I want to spend my life. There's a lot of names for this place, like Spicy Psychology, which I stole from Jordan the Grey Witch, who is an atheist witch here on TikTok, but also Secular Spirituality. I call it no-nonsense spirituality, atheist spirituality, rational mysticism. Basically, it's the idea that you don't have to have faith. You don't have to gaslight yourself to believe the unbelievable. You don't even have to really be um, a believer in the supernatural in order to get all the benefits, all the tools that have been housed in religion and spirituality. We hear it, no nonsense spirituality for all these tools and more, no faith required. <laughs> Let's talk about it. That was a great video by No Nonsense Spirituality for those who want to follow her. Uh, she has degrees in religious studies, so she is not someone who is just uh, hasn't researched anything. Not that you have to have a degree to do so. But what I want to add to her commentary there is the fact that Christians, especially, love to steal things and take over things. We talked about this a little bit in my live today uh, at, that we had at, at 11.30, at 11 o'clock on Facebook and YouTube. That is where my lives are. We talked about the fact that now spirituality is being confiscated by those who are formerly religious. These are the people who still go to church, who still believe in Christianity, who still believe in all their isms and entities. And now that the term religion has been utilized negatively, they all now want to claim that they're spiritual. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, they were not claiming this. They were saying that they were religious. But of course, with the alt-right and all these other organizations that are claiming religion, now they want to all be spiritual and have no idea what being spiritual actually means. And we'll find it offensive that a person who is an atheist is claiming to be spiritual. You see, spiritual has absolutely nothing to do with your religion. And the reason why you're claiming it is because it is the new thing to step yourself away from the atrocities of religion. You're claiming that you got relationship with a deity you've never met, with a deity that has never shown itself in any type of evidentiary way, but you want to claim now spirituality in the same way that uh, the left took the term woke, which had nothing to do with many of the organizations or many of the ideas of it. But now they claim it and they're destroying that term. So we can't use that one anymore. Just like bars and other circular things are using the term alchemy. They weren't talking about alchemy 20, 30 years ago. And alchemy is not mixing drinks. If you can take some Jim Beam bourbon and make that into some Woodward, Woodford Reserve bourbon, that would be alchemy, transmuting it from one thing to another thing that's right, that's on a higher vibration. That's alchemy. Transferring your mental thoughts from a low vibration to a higher vibration. That's alchemy. Not you mixing some damn drinks. You see, people steal terms and utilize terms without even understanding what those terms are. But because of pop culture, y'all will just take it and run with it. And that is not what it means, not even in the slightest forms. Spirituality is one of those things. You do not, do not have to believe in any deity to be spiritual. Spiritual is a humanistic thing 
that connects you to nature, it connects you to energy and frequency, which is another thing. 30 years ago, religions were not talking about energy and energy transmutation and frequency. But now, because they know that they're losing their parishioners left and right, especially the ones in their 20s and 30s who are invested in energy and frequency and transmutation, now they're trying to incorporate that into their religion because that's what you got, religion, re legare. It binds, a binding, a hold, an entrapment, a case, a prison. That's what religion is. Y'all are religious if you are believing in any of these books that are trying to describe a deity that, if existed, is unknowable and undescribable. You cannot have a relationship with something that is unknowable. You cannot contain in a book something that is undescribable. And if your description of the deity that you believe is the one that you find in this book, the cruelty, the genocide, the egotistical, egotistical attitude, that is not a God that I would ever even give an iota of worship to. But y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.